We're back with President Trump. Also joining us now, the governor of the great state of Texas. God bless Texas. Greg Abbott is with us. Governor, great to see you. Thanks, Governor. Thank you. you now... You've been very generous with your time coming on the show often, and you have pointed out that all... You couldn't even send in your, your child protective services to check on, do their job and check on kids. You know about ranchers finding dead bodies on their ranches. We know about the perilous journey. But the government won't even allow you to enforce the laws that they refuse to enforce. Now you're left with, what, building your own fence? Because exactly. he's not president? We, we, we in Texas have been left to our own devices to fend for ourselves. It's like we're some outpost somewhere along some territory that the federal government doesn't care about anymore. It's not like it was with President Trump. He cared about Texas. He stepped up to Texas. He built a wall in Texas. What, what I'm having a hard time, and I'm, I, and I'm sure everybody here is having a hard time with, we are supposed to be a nation of laws. Uh, if President Trump, if he jaywalked, they'd want to impeach right. him, right? Let's be honest. But, <laughs> but here, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are picking and choosing not to enforce the laws of the land. And you don't have the authority as a governor to enforce it for them. So now you're, what, now you'll do the next best yeah. thing? So the, the first error that the Biden administration is making is they have abandoned the rule of law. They are not enforcing the immigration laws that have been passed by Congress. And hence, we have this complete open border policy. The states can make the same apprehensions that the Border Patrol can make, but we would just turn them over to the federal officials who believe in catch and release. So... What Texas is doing, because I declared a disaster, the penalties have increased for anybody trespassing, anybody who vandalizes anything, and they can, they're going to go to jail. We are working with sheriffs, many of these men and women in the White House behind me. So and, I want to be very me, clear here. So, Sean, real quick. Yeah. So what, what, we're, what I've been working for the last several weeks with these sheriffs on we're going to start arresting people, putting people behind bars, putting them in jail, not giving them the red carpet treatment that the Biden administration has been giving them. They, uh, they love the governor. He, he and I had a great relationship, along with a lot of other people in this room from Texas and from other states, in all fairness. But very special what Texas has been doing. And we, we had just... It was over. We stopped a lot of the drugs that were coming in, which is very tough to do. And they have some real criminals bringing this stuff in. They have the toughest people. These cartels, these are tough, smart people. They're like, they went to the Wharton School of Finance and graduated number one in their class. But they never did that. <laughs> but they would have graduated number one. They're very, very tough and smart. And what they've been doing with human trafficking and drugs and all of the other things is a disgrace. We had it largely stopped. And in two months, three months, they ended. Stay in Mexico was so great. Stay in Mexico. They couldn't stay in this country. And they ended it. Uh, you take a look at the governor saying catch and release. I ended that. That's where you catch a criminal and you release them in our country. And then they're supposed to come back for a trial three years later. Uh, Louis Gohmert, I would say they don't come back too often to trials, right? You would never see them. Is that correct, Louis? Louis's a great congressman, too. And uh, he's the only one that might be even tougher than us on the board, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But I will say this. Look, we had the relationship. Everything was good. You need the federal government. They need help from the federal government. I gave it to them times 10, and we did it. And then he comes in, and he stops building the wall. All you needed was two more months, and we would have had it completed. But even so, we built almost 500 miles of wall, and it really had such a huge impact. And the people had an impact. And those sheriffs are, and law enforcement generally in Texas, has done an unbelievable job. But they're getting no support from the federal government. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.